I'm thinking Mindpocalypse. This is just what I was talking about when I had like the previous Rogue Run. Um, with goggles, you really want deck velocity. You really don't want to like sit there like on an empty hand like I did before. So I think like, Necrotic Poison is just not that good, right? I'd much rather have Mind Apocalypse and ensure that I can keep digging for more things that draw cards and more high impact things than like something like Necrotic Poison. Another priest. <sighs> Let's keep these. Yeah. One cost thug into this. Ugh, Broomstick is a dead card. I mean, it's not a dead card, but it's a pretty useless card. Rocket backpacks and battle totem. Okay. Broom will carry. <laughs> Double conjuring. Um. Yeah, we're going to sweep the series of the broom. Exactly. <laughs> Rogue is usually bad. What? How is your archetype thing is helping you be successful this run? I mean, I don't think Rogue is bad. I think that Rogue is is, is significantly better with the buff. Stolen Eviscerate. Yeah. Rude. Um. I'm just playing this cutting class. Yeah, a lot of value from, from that guy, especially with the raised dead. Oh, stealing my wand, thief! It's at least only oh, it's these combos, so it's not double battle cry. Shadow step back, guy. Okay. Don't keep your to so many of my cards. I hope you just get all like weapon buffs. All right, we're just gonna play this because it lets us play the steel dancer. <laughs> uh, that sucks. Not going great. Thought steal. Okay. Yeah, Dragon Rager, exactly. Another eviscerate. This guy's just taking all my cards. I mean, this is six damage to me. Okay, that's good. Kill this and heal himself. We don't know anything about the contents of, the contents of my opponent's hand right now, right? It's two, no, it's, oh wow, okay. Well, he did get, he did steal a weapon buff. Uh, okay. Why would you do that? You have this. Also, why wouldn't you play your Buccaneer first and buff your weapon? What makes something... I'm just playing this. Remember Trying to confuse him. Okay, that explains why I would do that that way. Can we kill him? You're at 14. Uh, we have three plus eight plus three, right? Six, 14. Yep. Blood and My blade stays sharp. Got him. All right, nine wins. Nine wins. And this is the sad time when we don't get a card. I wish there wasn't a sad time in duels. Come on, let's do it. 12 wins, 12 wins. I'm um, first, I'm gonna keep the cutting class. I think it's important that I have the velocity even though it's not. Turn one. Oh, look at this, look at this, okay. So we play this, we play this, we attack here, 
we play this. We'll take duplicate. So next turn I attack cutting class, cutting class Jandis. That's my turn too. <laughs> Hunter's Insight. Okay. Ooh, double Hunter's Insight. Oh yeah, double time with that is so sick. Uh huh. Okay, well, opponent's gonna do some crazy things with hand discounted by two. Um. Barrier. All right, we'll kill this guy because it protects Jandis. Cutting class. Cutting class. Jandis. My turn too. You'll be fake. Sneaky. Opponent. Mm -hmm. Ooh, two fork cost guys. Yikes. Okay. And he got Shifty Sophomore and a Stormwind Knight. Huh. Okay. That's pretty scary. Um, so... Yikes. I gotta kill this water elemental for sure. I can eviscerate the water elemental. Put like this, this, those kill that, these kill some other stuff. That was a really powerful turn. Um, alright. So, yeah. Eviscerate this. Play this. I guess I should play this first, but whatever. Play this. So you attack here. You attack here. I attack here. Okay. Hmm. Pickaxe. Yeah, his four drops are very good. Yeah, it sucks. We duplicate that. You get like a stealth guy with a 4 4 that I couldn't even attack into, which is annoying. <sighs> My hand is glutted with this nonsense, too. Um, kill that guy. Yeah, the knight, the, the knight getting to the left side it ends up making it okay, but like, this is pretty terrible, this is pretty terrible. Oh god, draw four. Ugh. Double time's so powerful. Yep, okay, well, I guess we're just drawing a bunch of cards this turn, which is obviously disgustingly powerful, but like, gives me at least some degree of hope. Yeah, my hand is clunky even with goggles because of all this stuff. And then my opponent with this got even more mana. Alright. I don't want to get pressed enough plus Steel Dancer. I don't want to give up on the weapon. Ah. Jesus. Every single time I've cast that, it's killed itself. Like, I've cast it twice, and both times it's killed the thing that it generated. Every time my opponents have cast it against me, it's just like hit me in the face twice or whatever. <laughs> I want to attack with them so you can't hear a power. Well, for one, I have two of them, so you can't hear both of them. Yeah. Um. But also, like, okay. Uh, well, Krastanoff. I'm gonna die. That thing hitting my face is like kind of the nail in the coffin.
We're pretty dead. The double cast fire last portal. Yep. I'm assuming I'm dead. Yep. Dead. Rip. Is he gonna hit me in the face again? Oh, it finally hit one of those guys. Ooh, and a second few again. Oh well. Nine and two. Ancient Reflections is hilarious with Krastanov. I think I just want Staff of Scales. Like, I mean, that last game shows where I can actually use this. You know, like, my deck is at, I can actually fall behind opposing just big dudes. We're going to take this. You can also play it proactively, which is a pretty valuable element of it, um, in my deck with uh, with Goggles. So, All right, Rogue Mirror. Okay, let's go. These are on the wrong side, but I can coin this. Coin this on two, and then play boop, boop, boop. Uh, okay, that's gonna get evolved though. Wow, rude. Oh, the sneaky or the sneaky passage, secret passage is actually excellent. I'm very glad I included it at this point. I'm getting tired. Um, I mean, I'm not, I'm not like super tired per se, but um, we're gonna we're gonna play until this run is over. I don't wanna I don't wanna bail on it. Rep. That's actually excellent. We can coin sword. And I actually just prep, deadly, kill this before it gets to keep growing. Which is obviously a kind of an awkward situation, because I don't really want to have to be, like, prepping out removal for my opponent's one drop, but I don't want that snowball anymore against me. Mm -hmm. Tell Shiro I say bork bork. <laughs> All right, boop, boop, boop. We're gonna kill this. We're gonna hold this till next turn. I wanna be able to cast like steel dancers and such off of it. Rude. Okay, at least we get a weapon back and it's still, ooh, interesting. Ceremonial Maul. Well, let's get ourselves a 1-1, one, one, I guess, from this. I've got the broomstick in hand. How's he gonna deal with that? Look how far you've come since you, you played your first junior magic tournament where you played the scaling deck. That wasn't a junior magic tournament. That was one of the first magic grand prix ever. And I won. That was a full on tournament, not not junior anything. Uh, What do I have here? Oh, okay, apparently my opponent's just dead. I didn't even count, but they think they're dead, so I agree. I agree. 10 wins. Let's go. 12 win rogue. Let's do it. What do we get? I'm taking another mind apocalypse, I think. Like, I just want to churn through my deck and just throw damage at my opponent's face. Yeah. We have two cutting class, two mind apocalypse to keep the cards flowing and the se uh, the secret passage, which amusingly I included by excluding the uh, cutting class because I forgot it in deck building. <laughs> I'm keeping the banana split, I think. I'm mulliganing everything else. Banana Split's just extremely powerful. If I have any decent minion. Okay, the rest of this hand sucks. I do have the coin though, so we could just find a self-sharpening sword, which helps a lot. Hello. Okay, so my opponent has goggles and uh, robes. Am I just gonna play my apocalypse? I think I am. Boom. One thief into Dread Corsair, turn one. I'll take Firelands Portal. I'm almost out of time. My blade stays sharp. Ah, looks like I just like froze. 
I do not have any weapon buffs, which I'm just going to go ahead and play Steel Dancer for two, I think. Another Mindpocalypse. Do we play this one? I don't know that I do. I'm going to chill. We're going to play this for a two drop. Whoa, hold on. <laughs> Is that worth it? I could banana split this. That doesn't seem worth it. No. Eh, we want the two power weapon. Like it's cool, but it, it 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 I don't think is like we don't have that many spells, right? We have this Firelands portal. If like my opponent doesn't kill it, I will. I think I will do it before I attack. Are we just doing this? Banana split on this. This gets reduced to four. Banana split on this is just a lot of stats on board. Eh, we're doing this. This costs one, this costs, then this costs... Mm. We play the coin. We play this. We play this. Alright. We can get flame striked or something here. No matter what, this I can cast next turn even if my opponent kills all of these. Maybe better just play it on this. I don't know. You're not a monster. Okay. You have an 8-8. Eight, eight. Mm. You're at 27. You have an 8-8. Eight, eight. I don't care. Boom. Oh, I don't think there's really any reason to just go in right now. I'm just getting all my damage to your face. I don't want to mind Apocalypse and give my opponent more resources to be able to deal with my board. Oh, did I not even attack? Did I not attack with this? All right. Oops. Apparently I did miss damage. I was reading chat. He's a taunt. He's for, he's for hanging out and, and staying back. Yeah, I've been streaming for, you know, eight and a half hours. <laughs> okay. Well, what do you got? <laughs> eh, whatever. I could have, like, not taken a bunch of damage there. I did see what came off the passive. I refreshed the weapon after seeing it was, uh, what's it? Spear of Sapiens. Ice block is something that you can get from your, um, is not something you can get from your, uh, what's it? Discover effects or, or in your deck, but you can include it with, um, if you get it off of, uh, ooh. Gaining life. Okay. So we have four. Yeah, you're dead. You did. You can get it off of a uh, off of a bucket. Eleven wins. Let's get that twelve. I feel like. I just want Worshipper. This cares about your weapons attack, right? It doesn't actually give it to you. We already have three self-sharpening swords and we have no death rattle, so this is bad. Holy Book is too expensive. We don't want to have Holy Book sitting in our hand and glutting up our emerald goggles. We want Worshipper. We can use Worshipper like just to go aggro and we, Worshipper can uh, be insane to hit with Banana Split just for like plus nine attack. We're getting Worshipper. Let's go. Like we're an aggressive deck. We don't want an like, eight mana removal spell. Shaman, but nerfed Shaman. All right, we're mulliganing all of this. I have none of my good cards. Ah, uh, yes. Reduced cost prep. Beautiful. Hello. What is it you ask? 
Can we at least get something that we can prep? So you have you have double cost reduction, or you have minus one cost, and then goggles for spells. I can prep coin. We're gonna prep coin. It's gonna happen. I actually think I'm gonna prep hero power on turn one. I might literally prep a a guy and hero power here. No, we're gonna do this. I'm just doing this. I don't care about the extra attack right now. We can possibly prep eviscerate if our opponent like has something better next turn. We're almost certainly prep eviscerating next turn. Okay. Well, we also have Edwin. Edwin's not even good. I'm not gonna Edwin. We're gonna Jandis. Jandis is better. We're playing against Shaman. They can just like, maybe we wanna do this. Yeah, we can just Jandis next turn and then play that the following turn. All right, we're gonna do it. I'm almost out of time. It's late, it's late enough that they're less likely to have their devolving missile, right? Because typically, like, like, this person is a 40 card deck. In, like, the first couple fights, they're very likely to have Devolving Missile at this point. But in the later fights, they're actually more vulnerable to a big Edwin than uh, they are now. If I get, like, Silence off this Trick Totem. Opponent does have Ronin Scrying Orb, so could Earthshock or play no Missiles if they have it. Yeah, if the Totem... Oh! Okay, um, so Jandis... Ooh, Krastanoff can be fake and we can have a Fugin. Although Krastanoff, no, we want, we want Fugin to be fake and we keep Krastanoff because I want to try and get Krastanoff. Whoa, Mamba Fur with the 99 gift subs. Whoa, I, I do not have time to read them all out right now. And thankfully we fixed the way that the, uh, the roars work. So there's just the one roar now. But thank you very much, Mamba Forever. I appreciate it. Happy Breakfast Burrito Thursday. Maelstrom Portal? Okay. Well, now you know Fugin's fake. Fake Fugin! We can Bubba this. I think my opponent's just gonna die. Bubba this. Okay, you're at three on turn four. <laughs> All right. Well, speaking of crazy, it's going to take some crazy shenanigans for my opponent to get out of this. Three life facing this board. Piper Blaster. Okay. Lightning Bloom. Do you have like a... What do you... I... Oh, nope, nope. Not going to cut it. Not going to cut it. Boom! 12 win rogue. Let's go. Yeah, the load time for that game was longer than our 12 win game. We won on turn five <laughs> after waiting for like five minutes. Well, that was a fine, fine conclusion to the run and to the stream. Hey, they changed it. Look, they're not like you did your best. Great job. Try again. They actually say... You achieved the maximum number of wins. Spectacular. Congratulations. I feel good about that, man. Not like, go back and try again, idiot. You did all right, I guess. You got 12 wins. Try to do better next time. <laughs> I'm very happy they changed that because that was pretty, pretty sad.